What is up guys, I'm Mikey 31 here bringing you Madden 16 Mutt Salary Cap. We're putting Johnny Football into the run and shoot. Bit of a, I wouldn't say it's a budget offense, but my slot number four isn't quite as uh, good as I want him to be, and neither is my back. I'm trying out this um, Joseph Randall, and he stinks. He's completely useless. And along the offensive line, Looking for base bargains with good pass block ratings. But on defense, I wanted to pair this Richard Sherman that I just bought off the auction block, and he was not cheap, 99 zone coverage, 88 catching, with Rondé. So we have 99 zone coverage, 98 zone coverage at both outside corners, and we have... That ultimate legend, John Randall, at the three technique defensive tackle. So, the plan is lots of cover three and cover four press type stuff. Mixing with some man, mixing with some Tampa two here and there. See if that ultimate legend, Jonathan Randall, can make an impact. And also see how. That 99 zone coverage Sherman and that 98 zone coverage Rondé Barber hold up on the outside against what you know is going to be a deep aerial attack at this point. So, just kind of getting guys where I want to, want them to be. Um, I'm in the Jacksonville Jaguars defensive playbook, and away we go. And I see this... Ever since Stiff won the Madden Challenge, I see this formation pretty much every game. Everyone uses this now. Bunch of monkey see, monkey do's who can't come up with something on their own and be original. They have to copy another man on the internet. <laughs> or who they see, you know, win a tournament. So we stuffed at that, and here it is again. And he gets a completion there to Fitz. You know, everyone's got good receivers now. So now he's going between that and split, shotgun split, and he throws the wheels. So, got to be on the alert for that as well. Uh, tries a little bit of power. Derek Thomas blows it up. Again, shotgun split close. There goes Jonathan Randall. He gets through. And all reliable Iloka with that 94 zone coverage. And he's got some good hit power too. Breaks it up. And here I make a mistake. I hot route the wrong guy to deep blue. I don't bother to correct it or call timeout. And because of that, that gets open. I have a tout shoot and clowny. As my edge rushers, good base at Tauchu, base Clowney. So, uh, base Clowney has like a 92 pass rush move. He's got block shed to low 80s and good speed, like around 88. And a good cap value. Jeremiah Tauchu at a Georgia Tech. Um, good cap value, like an 18 cap value. And you get 88 speed with 90 plus acceleration and a 94 pass rush move. This is why I love this Wes Walker card. He can really accelerate. The thing about this Wes Welker card, you don't want him as your number one or number two, but throw him in the slot. He's got good acceleration, 99 route running, catches a ball in traffic, never drops a thing, and he gets to you some yak. Had an overthrow on that play. If I see Odell Beckham Jr. with 99 spec catch, one-on-one, -on -one. he's getting the ball. Simple as that. People think quarters going to save them from the deep outside. It's not. We run a little bit of smash. The um, defenders run off. We hit the hitch. And there's Wes underneath. And we score and we answer. So, pretty good shape there. Blaine's a man. I'm kind of caught between. Is he going to throw to the back or is he going to throw to Fitz? So I do the next best thing. I try to just jump it when the ball's thrown, but I get it a little bit late. Here comes Clowney, and I cannot wait until those are fumbles. You're going to hear bitching like you've never heard before. But you know what? Deal with it. There's Rondé Barber. We play the receiver. Knock it out. He's in four verts fest now, or going deep fest. 
Go for it on fourth down. Turn over on down. I think that was Jimmy Smith. So we're going to do a little bit of play action. Play action. We're going to see if we have Odell Beckham outside one-on-one -on -one again. We do. And sorry. 99 spec catch one-on-one. -on -one. I'm taking a shot. With that kind of field position. I'm going to take that every single time. I see him one-on-one -on -one covered. Here comes Clowney. He's trying to get something, you know, downfield late in the first half. And here comes a tout you. You can find some really good 4-3 edge rush defensive end values at the 3-4 OLB spot. Guys like Clowney, a tout you, Melvin Ingram, Connor Barwin, the base ones, uh, Bud Dupree. You can even find some lower level Lawrence Taylors. Just really good cap value with a lot of um, athleticism and uh, pass rush move, you know, with our cap value and base overall rating. Won't get much in the way of box shot usually, but their pass rush move and their athleticism will generally hold up. So, he decided to onside kick it to open the second half. And we're going to try to take advantage of this fourth and four, this kind of field position. We're going to go over the top. I have no idea what he was in there, but that didn't work. So, Odell Becker is just tearing this dude up. Pick up Jonathan Randall. Play the receiver, knock it out. So, we're holding up really nice on the outside. Manual tight end bump there. Like a manual rat catch. He's got a out of position Deion Sanders card, obviously playing wide receiver. And here's what I love about this ultimate legend, John Randall. He's got 85 speed, so he can spy. So you can throw him into a spy, still have your ends out there if you have to contain them. And a scrambling QB's not going to outrun them. So <laughs> I set the spy, it forced him to chuck it up early, and I get the INT, and he's going to eject. So like what I saw on that one. So anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you all later. Peace.